Hey guys, it's Shen, and today I got another video for you guys on how to set up OBS Studio for 1080p at 60 frames per second recording for any gaming videos or any videos that you guys want to record. Now this is quite easy to do and not that hard, but before we get started, I would just like to say a huge thank you for you guys helping me hit 1 million views on YouTube so far, and I am so close to hitting 2,000 subscribers so make sure you guys go ahead and click on that subscribe button and like button as it would help me out a lot but other than that let's start the video so how to set OBS studio up is you first of all want to actually open up OBS studio and once you guys do that you guys will want to create a new scene and this is actually quite easy you guys will just end up going to this little plus button after you guys add the scene. There's always a default scene. You guys just want to click plus. And first of all, you guys want to do the display. Just create a new display capture. Click on OK and it will be your default display. If you have multiple, you can just select the one that you want. And over here, you guys want to capture the cursor most likely. And you guys just want to click on OK. After this, you guys also want to click on the plus button again to add your microphone. This is going to be helpful to capture your actual microphone audio. So over here, you guys want to do audio input capture. Once you guys do that, you guys want to create a new audio input capture. Click on OK and go over here. If you guys have multiple microphones, just click on the one that you want, then click on OK. So over here, now you guys will see your audio input capture. So over here, you guys will just end up But once you guys go ahead and do that, you guys will just obviously add your mic audio as I already have it set up over here. So I would just click on mic and audio what I have named this. So once you guys go over there, you guys have selected it over. Next thing you guys want to do is go into the settings of your actual OBS studio to start setting it up. Now, first of all, you guys will want to go to output. That's the first place you want to go. And if you guys are streaming, you guys could set this up but this is mainly for recording so you guys will want to click on recording then you guys want to go make sure it's on standard then you guys want to check where you guys want to actually save the file to that just depends on where you guys want to put it generate file name without space I leave that unchecked uh, recording format make sure it's on mp4 then audio track I do three and I will show you guys why you guys should do three in just a second after this encoder make sure it's at x264 you guys have some other ones if you guys want but that's up to you guys um, then you guys have rescale output what you guys won't have to do and down here you want to go to rate control and make sure it's at CRF and over there you guys can uh, change it from anywhere from I would say 15 to 25 as that would be the best I put mine under there because it actually depends on your computer the better computer you have the more lower I could go more lower but uh, anything under 15 is really not a big improvement so it doesn't really matter I just left it at 10 but that's up to you guys this you guys can leave at zero CPU usage preset I put this on slow again this actually matters about your computer so if you guys have a laptop or anything and you guys are doing some games put it on ultra fast but if you guys don't really care and have a little bit faster computer I would recommend very fast or fast uh, around there anything lower than that is really again just little improvements profile I keep this on high so when you're playing a game your computer actually knows that OBS actually matters and it shouldn't like stop it from doing its own thing and also under x264 options go ahead and type in open cl cl equals to true and this is practically just going to help your graphics card take control of it and uh be able to work a little bit better with your processor and all that makes the recording go a lot more smoothly next thing you guys want to go ahead after you guys click on apply and okay you guys want to go ahead and click on audio then you guys want to go to sample rate and go ahead and click on 48 kilohertz so once you guys go ahead and click on that make sure your channels is on stereo 
then go ahead and set up your desktop audio device over here I selected my headphone ones because I only want to capture my headphones and not my actual speakers then for mic I have my headphone microphone again selected that's up to you guys if you guys have multiple desktop audio devices or multiple mics you guys can go ahead and actually enable that from here but if you guys don't just leave it disabled and just apply it again then you guys want to go to video now over here you guys want your base canvas what is practically just that area and you guys want to set it up to 1080p as what we did and over here make sure you guys go ahead and set up 1920 by 1080p as there shouldn't be an output other than that unless you're trying to upscale it or downscale it and for downscale filter wait there is no downscale you guys just want to put it on the last one over here as this is going to be the best one so then you guys want to make sure this is on common FPS values and over here make sure that's set on 60 so that will be your 60 frames per second and that's practically how you guys go ahead you guys will just want to click on apply and okay and you guys have it right over here now like I said why I enabled the output recording to 3 over here is when you go to over here you guys will want to go to properties I'm saying you guys will want to go to advanced audio properties over here and under here you guys will get your mic audio and your desktop audio and the reason why you're going to be doing this is for the track so the first track no matter what streaming is going to be both you guys will obviously not have time to edit those audios when you're streaming so it won't really matter now the second one is also for only the desktop audio so you'll have a second track just for your desktop audio and a third track just for your mic audio this helps a lot for editing later on when you guys have to edit it will help a lot more but that's practically how you guys go ahead and record 1080p at 60 frames per second but if you guys do want to put a webcam for example I can I will show you guys how to do that right now so what you guys want to do is you want to grab your device again now I will have to switch over to my laptop over here to show you guys this as I do not have a webcam but let's just say you have your webcam on you you guys will want to again just be on OBS so to actually add your webcam in you guys will just want to right click click on add then click on video capture device from there you guys want to just create a new one then go ahead and click on your webcam mine is integrated over here but that doesn't really actually matter whether yours is or isn't you guys will just want to select yours then you guys will want to scroll down over here leave this on device default as it will let your webcam actually be used as it is and there won't be any lag unless you guys actually know what the resolution is don't make sure don't upscale it otherwise you will see actual lag so over here you guys can leave this all as normal then you guys will have some other options like flip vertically what isn't really necessary but you guys can do it if you guys want to have some fun I guess or if your webcam is somehow placed upside down that might help but then you guys also have capture audio device only but if you guys have a separate audio device just click on use custom audio device for your webcam instead and select the one that you have from there you guys just want to click on OK then you guys have the option of putting in your webcam anywhere and resizing it from here you guys will just move it along anywhere you guys want and then it will be there and you guys will see it in the recording and that's how you guys add your webcam but like I said guys it is actually really easy to record in 1080p on OBS studio for gaming at 60 frames per second with all the right settings this will help you edit quicker film very nicely record very nicely and yeah but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did like the video make sure you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up also make sure you guys go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below as we are almost at 2,000 subscribers so make sure you guys go ahead and click on the subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys go ahead and share this video with your friends but other than that see you guys in the next video